we got a good show for you tonight, family. Don't you miss it tonight. We got the one, the only Ron Spears. Of course, physicist, spoken word artist, and author of Black Matter Lives. So make sure y'all tune in and lock in. Don't touch that dial. And tell a friend, tell a neighbor. Make sure you share. And we'll be right back after this. This is King Simon. Remember, make sure you go to my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com or Linktree at King Simon, the numeral base to get all four of my books. And of course, that's the numeral base for mental stability. Numbers are simple, people are complicated. Numbers are simple, children's health is important, and no promotion is bad promotion. Just spell my name right. Make sure you get them now on all my links. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. Go now. family oh yeah make sure you share 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 like 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 because we got a show for you tonight <laughs> here's your brother king simon right here tonight we got ron spears physicist spoken word artist and author of black matter line lives black matter lives right here with ron spears talking about black matter that's right we're talking about ancient black matter universal matter Oh, yeah, you know what that means. And of course, that's the he's the author of that book right there. And the book is called Black Matter Lives, Manifesting Change Using the Laws of Physics, Our Minds, and the Power of the Spoken Word. Because you know, when you're speaking in words, you got to speak healing power. So we're going to be here with Ron Spears at the top of the hour. So don't touch that dial right here on King Simon Presents. Make sure you share, 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 like, like, like. And we're going to do what we like. Don't forget. Mm-hmm. This beautiful sister, mother, oracle, media personality, energy healer, and spiritual counselor will be on King Simon Presents. Miss High Heels will be in the building live and direct. So make sure you enjoy this on Wednesday, April the 6th at 8 p.m. sharp. So don't touch that dial. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell your cousin, and tell everybody else. You know how we do. And also, don't forget coming up on the 10. Don't forget coming up on the 10. We got the one, the only Professor Mo. He is the president of the 52 Block Federation, former bodyguard, filmmaker, actor, stuntman, and so much more. We're going to have him on at 7 p.m. at April 10th. That's 7 p.m. April 10th. And of course, we got more people coming up. Want to let y'all know who's coming up also after that. We got Sean, Shauna Paul coming in. Not Sean Paul. Sean Paul. Shauna Paul is coming in. She's going to be talking about affordable housing and how the homelessness of homeless people are getting pushed out all over the place. And also, we're going to have the beautiful and wonderful at a Genesis coming back to the show. So I can't wait to have her on also. And don't forget, if you are not going to be able to make it to Detroit, make sure you support the live stream that's coming up. Mm -hmm. I heard uh, Sonetta had a great, great event today. So big up to Sonetta, to Zariak, and Malik Zulu Shabazz. But this is going to be a lecture called One Africa Power in Unity Conference. And if you want to get that power in unity, make sure you go to the website. If you want the live stream, all you have to do is get your live stream tickets right now. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com forward slash events. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com forward slash events. And just tell them King Simon sent you. I'm telling you. Also, guess what? That's right. Me and these beautiful ladies are going to do something extraordinary in the Zen bar. Oh, yeah. We're going to be in the Zen bar family. I'm telling you right now. All you have to do is going to be May 15th, $99 early bird ticket. It is a cosmic alignment workshop, cosmic alignment workshop with yours truly, of course, King Simon, the numero Vader, and also coach Helen, business coach and the Zen bar owner. And then Ellison Nedra, master uh, psychic medium and spiritual healer. She's going to be in the building live and direct. It's going to be her first time doing her thing. So we can't wait to do what we got to do. It's going to be starting at one o'clock all the way to when we say when. And we're going to have a good time. Get your early bird tickets right now. Get your early bird tickets right now. As a matter of fact, the first 10 people 
that can actually order their early bird tickets at $99 for this workshop, I will give them a free book, a free signed book at the venue on May the 15th. So make sure you go to zenbar.org. That's zenbar.org. That's Z-E-N-B-A-R.org. And just make sure you show me that receipt. You're the first 10 people that get there or get in front or either text me that receipt and I will hook it up and make sure you get those you get that uh, free book when you come to the venue okay also if you want to if you're in Brooklyn New York oh man the masters the gathering of the Grand Masters part two in tribute to Dr. Moses Powell is happening on May 28th from 1 to 4 p.m. That's going to be happening at 759 Washington Avenue in Brooklyn, New York, the Urban Contemporary Jiu-Jitsu. $80 in person, $50 for spectators, $45 via Zoom, and $70 before April the 30th is going to be Grand Masters, of course, like uh, Grand Master Anthony Muhammad, Grand Master Soki Littlejohn, Grand Master Logan, Grand Master Professor Bill, Grand Master David James, Grand Master David Herbert, Grand Master, oh uh, man, Grandmaster Curry and uh, and of course the one the only Warrington and Master Warrington Hudlin is going to be there also. I see the whole crew is going to be there, man. I might have to fly into New York for this one. This is going to be crazy because they're going to throw everybody around in this one. So I can't wait. And uh, I might just go see, if I can't make it, I'm going to check out the Zoom. This is going to be off the hook, I'm telling you. And also, if you want some spiritual reading from this beautiful sister, she got a spiritual counselor. This, uh, uh, of course. Ellison is a powerful. Not only does she does her, her consultation, she does the acoustic records, she does the past life, karmic lessons, all of that in her spiritual medium. Past life healing, reading, and consultation by this one, the only Ellison. So I'm telling you, you want to be down with that. I'm telling you, and get that past life understanding of who you were in the past life through her. She's very good at what she do. I'm telling you, family. So make sure you check her out. Also, got a big up Kendall Cobb, a line your consciousness with Kendall Cobb. Hypnosis with Kendall Cobb. Get that hypnosis done. Get your mind right. Give her a call at 800-503-1993. That's 503-1993-1800. And don't forget, hit her up at her new, her new IG page. That's Hypnosis with Kendall. That's Hypnosis with Kendall. And tell her that King Simon show sends you the love, all right? Also, don't forget, if you are an author and you need some editing, for any bloggers, all those people, a journalist, whatever, if you need some good professional editing, editing, call Susie Script at 914-361-9467, 914-361-9467. If you want health care throughout the uh, New York City state, New York State, all you have to do is contact Shirley, one of our co-hosts, Sensei Shirley. She'll be returning right at April the 10th. So make sure y'all y'all tune in for that. But Shirley does health insurance and she can help you out with some health insurance right now. Believe me, you're going to need it. I'm telling you, family, if you, you know, depending if you're doing certain things, not taking care of your body, contact her via the email right there. That's ShirleySTC at gmail.com. That's ShirleySTC at gmail.com. If you want any real estate throughout the tri-state area, call Camille Orta at 718-916-9120. That's 718-916-9129. And don't forget, if you want a consultation from my brother Lloyd Strayhorn and you want to get his books, get his newsletter, take his class, online class, hit him up at lloyd-strayhorn.com. That's lloyd-strayhorn.com. And don't forget, if you want to take my introductory class into holistic numerovation, all you have to do is go to udemy.com. That's udemy.com. And just put in the search engine numerovation as spelled right here on the flyer. And boom, you'll get to take that two hour introductory course. And don't forget, if you want the raw, uncut version of my course, my eight-hour course, all you have to do is text the word course to 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. And guess what? I will hook you up, family. I will hook you up and give you the details so you can take that course and you can watch it at your convenience. That's how I do it. And don't forget, don't forget, if you want to purchase any of my books, all you have to go is go to linktree forward slash King Simon, the numeral of that's Linktree forward slash King Simon the numeral Vader, or go to Amazon right now. That's King Simon, not Simon King. There is a Simon King, so make sure you flip it. It's King Simon. Simon King got some good books. Now, I do have some of Simon King's books, so no respect to him. But also, if you want to do a numerovation session with me, all you have to do is text me your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022 for the special advertisement rate. All you have to do is text me. This, this, this particular 30 minutes, I'm telling your family, I have a waiting list. 
I'm in May already. All you have to do is wait. If your birthday is around May, going into June, July, and all that, it's best for you to text me and make sure you get on my list and uh, do what you have to do. And I'll, I'll put you on the list. Believe me, you'll be taken care of right before your birthday. You know how it is. But if you need a speedy one, mm -hmm, this is a pre-recorded 10 minutes and 10 seconds. I'm telling your family it's worth it. I allow you to have three questions that I will answer within the pre-recording. All you have to do is pay the 55 55 through PayPal or Cash App, as you've seen on the bottom here, and then text me your first name and your birthday only. Your first name and your birthday only, and then I will give you the details to send three basic questions you want to answer within that 10 minutes and 10 seconds. All right? I go a little bit over sometimes, but it is what it is. So I, I try to show love because I believe and I love what I do in every bit of the way. All right, so before we bring on our guests who will be coming up at the nine o'clock hour, remember the content disclaimer, the views, comments, and opinions expressed by guest speakers or authors on this YouTube channel do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions held by this channel's broadcasters and its sponsors. Parental guidance is advised. Also, the next disclaimer is copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Yeah, family, are you ready? Do you smell what I got cooking? Woo, that's right. Woo! It's your mother flipping brother in the mother flipping place. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing in YouTube land? How y'all doing on Facebook land? How y'all doing on both my channels? Numbers are simple and on Facebook at King Simon Live on Facebook. So we're doing what we got to do to make things happen. Thank you for the applause. Thank you for the applause. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. Oh my God, I don't deserve it. I love, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I don't deserve these applause. I pay for them, so I got to deserve them. <laughs> so it is what it is. So, yeah, in the nine o'clock hour at the top of the hour, we got three more minutes before we bring on the one, the only Ron Spears who's going to be dropping that information, that knowledge, I'm telling you. But let me turn down this applause now. Look, 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 I got two rules. I like to tell you my two rules now, fam. You see, I got my garbage shirt, so I got to put on them two rules. Two rules. First rule, respectfully, this is a troll-free zone. So trolls, please take a stroll somewhere else. Get that around round of applause. Get them stro trolls out of here. That's a mental disorder. That's a mental disorder. Believe me, I read the numbers on trolling, so I know what it is. It's a mental disorder. Remember, I wrote the book, Numerovation for Mental Stability. So the second order of the day is welcome to KSP TV. Please like, thumb up, and share this broadcast. Remember, sharing is caring, and we want to build these algorithms. Yeah! Let's get out of mother flipping round of applause. Come on, get that around of applause. That's what we do. Uh-huh. And don't forget... You want to spread love up, but up. We got Cash App and PayPal scrolling on the bottom. If you want to spread love, but, but up, you can spread love. Give that a round of applause also. All right, before we bring on a guest in a few, in a minute, I just want to show people some books that I got in the mail just recently. I got some, as a matter of fact, I had to reorder this book, man. This is by my dear friend, Ancient Futures by Wayne Chandler. Give him a round of applause, the ancient one himself. Ancient Future, powerful book, The Teachings and Prophetic Wisdom of the Seven Hermetic Laws of Ancient Kemet. This is a good book. I had this years ago, even in my bookstore. Big up to that book. And another good book that came in the mail just recently. Uh, this one here, this is a very interesting book. This one is called, so you, it might, you might not be able to see it, it says, An African-Centered Response to the LGBTQI Elemental P organization and their agenda. The conversation no one wants to have. Give that a round of applause to the one, the only uh, Olatunje M. Wamba. Big up to Olatunje M. Wamba. Thank you, uh, Sister um, Dr. Oya Ma'at, for referring this book to me. Powerful book alongside Irritated Genius book, alongside Dr. Baruti's book. Very good book. And the person that's going to be coming up momentarily, I got his book. It just came in the mother flipping mail. So I'm so happy to get that around. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yes. So, 
family without further ado this brother here let me let me read some of his accolades because he got a nice nice list out here so i gotta make sure we we doing it right before we bring on our brother all right all right now brother ron spears this work i'm telling your family he got a lot going on he got some great things going on he, he's he's doing great works throughout the community so i want to make sure we, we we say what we got to say about our brother right straight from his bio it says ron spears is a Detroit-based spoken word artist and author. He graduated from Morehouse College in Atlanta with a degree in physics and the University of Wisconsin-Madison, he, where he uh, received a master's degree in engineering. For over 25 years, he has traveled extensively working on a global transformation consulting project and, con and community-based initiative aimed at improving the quality of life in Africa and the diaspora. His latest book, Black Matters Lives, Manifesting Change Using the Laws of Physics, Our Minds, and the Power of Spoken Word, he has also authored a spoken word documentary called Sankofa, an audio book called Moisture. He serves as the chief teacher for an African rites of passage program for teenage boys in Detroit, where he took a different group each year to West Africa to engage in the manhood training ritual with a village still practicing the traditions. He has written extensively about his experience in Africa and created a curriculum to accompany uh, the Sankofa documentary to teach others. Without further ado, we want to welcome right here on the virtual stage of King Simon Presents, the one, the only, Ron Smith! Uh, my brother, my brother, my brother. That's a lot of energy, King Simon. I love it. I love it. I'm all for it. <laughs> me, me too, sir. <laughs> As a physicist, energy is everything. Everything. That's right. As a physicist, African everything. sacred science is all about energy. It's all about. <laughs> well, first and, first and foremost, brother, welcome, welcome to my show. I, I got to finally meet you on uh, Hoppy Films with uh, Felicia Harden. Big up, give her a round of applause, of course. Got to give that beautiful sister a round of applause. Seen you enough times on uh, uh, Reverend Philip Shockley. Shock them, shock man himself, the shock master Matthews himself. Give him a round of applause. Man, he be shocking people. He be bringing the information with Kaba and Professor James. Moore. He bring everybody on there. So I oh respect to him. And I, I, and again, uh, thanks for the book came today in the mail. I'm like, whoa, this is energy working here. That's what I'm talking about. I appreciate the support. No, my brother, that's what we're supposed to do, man. I'm an author. You're an author. We're supposed to support each other. That's what it's all about. And first and foremost, I want to thank you for all the great work that you're doing in the D, D town, Motown, Monet. That's right. I've been there. It's a new, beautiful place. So big up, big up to my girl, Nandy, and the whole crew over there. Nandy Knowledge Bar, Knowledge Cafe. Big up to the whole crew over there. She really accommodated us when we came and really helped us down. So no respect to her. It's a beautiful family. Beautiful That's family. A beautiful family. Man, she offered us rooms to sleep in and all that. Myself at that time it was myself, irritated genie and brother Tad Cromwell. We went over there and we enjoyed the lecture. They let me speak also. I opened up for irritated genie, uh, brother Io. And so big up to all of those people out there in Detroit. Very hospitable family, very hospitable place. And a lot of places being uh, uh people are buying places up there too. I hear a lot of people are buying a lot of stuff in Detroit. My friends are all out there buying stuff right now. So um, yeah, 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 Detroit is <laughs> Detroit is is a lot different than the Detroit I grew up in. That is interesting. You know, that that is interesting. You know, so what's so interesting, brother, that um I'm happy that uh you are actually incorporating what you're incorporating because a lot of people, a lot of our children haven't been going towards the science as they should. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you, you know, the show topic family, I want people to let them know that manifesting through the laws of physics and the spoken word. And that's on his book. That's what his book is all about, using that. And physics is a very important thing because it deals with energy. It deals with all the mass and force and everything else. I've been, I remember studying it when I was young. I even bought books and all that kind of stuff. Although I got kicked out of school, I just was wasting my time in them crazy schools sometimes. And I needed, and you know, I thank, I thank the 5%. I thank the most honorable Elijah Muhammad because 
when they taught us who is the original black man, who's the original black man, the Asiatic black man, make it on the cream of the planet, at God of the universe, father of civilization, that triggered something in my mind. And they gave us the mathematics. Yep. Although I'm not an active member in none of those organizations, I still show them respect and love because they triggered our mind to want to think mathematics. What made you go down that road? Not just being uh, studying physics, physics in Morehouse and, and, and other places, but what made you go down that road as a child? Were you introduced to physics? Let's talk about your life and how. Yeah, that no, that's no, I'm, I appreciate the, the, the question. And yes, sir. And um, yeah, no. The, the one of the beautiful things about growing up in Detroit, um, I grew up in a black neighborhood, mm -hmm. went to uh, an all black elementary school, middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I started really getting into I remember um, my math teacher in elementary school. OK, she would her husband mm -hmm. would take us bowling and they would make us keep score. Mm hmm. And this was before all that stuff is automated now. So you had to keep score uh, by hand. Cause I'm talking like in the, um, in the seventies. Yes. When I was in elementary school. Of course, of course. So, you know, just as to kind of get, start thinking about math on a different level. Mm -hmm. And then in the, the middle school that I went to, you know, I ended up, uh, you know, getting involved in the science, uh, science fairs and things like that. And, um, uh, but mainly it was high school. I went to a, uh, I mean, you know, for those of us who who from Detroit, they, everybody knows about Cass Tech, uh, Cass Technical High School, 99.9% mm -hmm, mm -hmm. .9 black. Wow. And it's Oof. a very, very uh, technology, you know, focused school. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I had classes, um, I had a whole year of calculus mm -hmm. in high school. Wow. I had uh, organic chemistry in high school. Mm -hmm. I had electronics and 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 a whole lot of stuff, but physics, mm -hmm. um, you know, you had to take your your normal physics classes, but there was an elective that mm -hmm. I chose to take, and it was a, a calculus based physics class in high school. Mm -hmm. So so that just sort of gave me. I was obviously a college level level class, and mm -hmm. um, so it just kind of gave me a, a thirst to for for the sciences and and the necessary preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, for to study physics when I got to Morehouse. Mm -hmm. So now let me tell you about Morehouse freshman year. Please. There were some geniuses <laughs> there. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was doing pretty well and I was prepared, but um, they, we had brothers there and sisters from Spelman who mm -hmm. went to some of these science and technology magnet schools that were just doing laps around me. So I had to try to keep up with them. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it was that. And then when you combine that um, freshman year at Morehouse, uh, you're required to take a class on introduction to African civilizations. Oh, and the, uh, the, the, the textbook for that class is John Jackson's book. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so mm -hmm. we got deep into it. And then, uh, and then you got all the people, uh, the elements that you had mentioned, the uh, yeah. the five percenters yes. are on campus. The Nation of Islam is on yes. campus. Yes. The uh, Nubian Islamic Hebrews, Hebrews. Hebrew yes. Israelites. I was there too, yes. <laughs> all of them were on campus. And then, of course, you got the the, the, the Baptist tradition. Mm -hmm. Of course. You know, because a lot of the brothers that I was uh, in the dorm room with are, are now pastors of big churches, including uh, Raphael Warnock uh, was my classmate. Mm, wow. Uh, the senator in Georgia. He senator, was, right, right. He right. was in uh, uh, W.B. Du Bois Hall right across the yard. And I was in Howard Thurman Hall. Wow. You know, wow. and so, I mean, we've gotten then Otis Moss, who's over Trinity in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, he and his wife had a tu tutorial program on the weekends. I was one of their tutors. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, I just got to meet some really, really cool people. But uh, but, you know, it just on top of that, then we had that lecture series. And then so people will come on campus, Khalid Muhammad. That's my boy. Yes. Joseph Ben Yakin. Yes. yes Ashwa Quazi. Bishop yes. uh, uh, St um, Stallings. Wow. Of course, Naeem Akbar and Naeem Leonard, Akbar. Jeffries, Leonard Jeffries. Leonard John yes. Henry Clark. I mean, it was just mind blowing for me. And, yes. you know, although I grew up in Detroit, um, you know, in, in an all black setting and schools, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about this history. Of course, right, right. You know, right. I mean, it was Black History Month was just about I have a dream and Rosa Parks, mm -hmm. you know, um, maybe a little bit of Garrett Morgan every now and then. Right, but, right, right. But all of this ancient African civilizations and stuff, 
did not know any of that. Mm-hmm. And so, so then, you know, you get that. And then, um, and then further on, there would be these lecture series. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember uh, Mother Tynetta Muhammad mm-hmm. came. Yes, right. May she yes. rest in peace. May she rest in um, peace. And I'm, it may have been when the minister was in Atlanta for the added up speech. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he travels, of course, with a delegation and she's yeah, of part of that delegation. Mm-hmm. And she came over and gave a speech at Spelman. And uh, she was breaking down the cosmology of the planets and oh, the she's good. And yes. the system. I mean, you know how she does with yes, that math. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. it blew my mind. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I wanted to go give her a hug, but you know, Ishmael was like, <laughs> Yeah, you ain't doing us, son. Ain't letting that happen. <laughs> <laughs> you're not my mama. That's my yeah, mama. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And uh, uh, so, you know, it just, I, it would just be such a lecture series on that. And then to make and to go even deeper, as I got into the higher level uh, physics classes, Mm -hmm. um, you know, so being taught physics by black professors, first of all, black males, Mm, yes, brother from Nigeria, brother from the Caribbean and a brother from America Mm. uh, teaching quantum physics, teaching special relativity and and the prerequisite for special relativity, because, you know, you you're going faster than the speed of light, the mathematics Mm, changes. Mm-hmm. So you had I had to take a prerequisite course just to learn the new the, the math how the math changes right. in order to do the theoretical yes. uh, thought experiments that is part of theoretical physics, mm-hmm. and so but being taught by black professors I mean it just you know you just can't that that whole and then you mentioned the five percenters brother uh, Wakil Allah is my Wakil, cl- my, my boy yeah so your good brother yes sir. yeah Wakil, he's yeah. my classmate at Morehouse you know yeah, and so yeah, I got yeah. I got his books on the five percent Wesley Muhammad went there too you know yeah, uh, yeah, Dr. Baruti yeah. was there Dr. Baruti that's my <laughs> so you know you could just imagine the think tank wow. that wow. Uh, that that it was for me and it was just a an, an eye opening uh, experience mm-hmm. to to kind of get that knowledge and um, you know, and, and just and that it just sort of took off from there. And mm-hmm. so, you know, Morehouse um, uh, doesn't Morehouse is a liberal arts school, so it doesn't have an engineering school right. there. So I had to take my engineering classes at Georgia Tech, which is like 13 blocks down the road. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm in Georgia. I'm in Georgia right now. That's why. I'm yeah. OK, in that's right. That's yeah, right. In Georgia. Yes. You know, but, and then, but, uh, then the grad school. Now, when I was in grad school, mm-hmm. um, and I took a <clears> class <throat> called uh, Computer Control of Machines and Processes. Mm. And, um, and, and, you know, it, the class doesn't really matter, but the interesting thing is there was like an, equi- a, um, so it's like an equation that has just stuck in my head all these years mm-hmm. that dealt with your, your raw material and your input. And then mm-hmm. of course you have to account for mm-hmm. any friction or disturbances or anything like that in order to transform the, um, your raw material into a finished product Mm -hmm. and so there was a formula associated with that and for some reason it's it's insignificant Mm -hmm. but what's weird is that it just stuck in my head all these years and that's actually the formula that i use as part of my uh sankofa um leadership uh program in which i incorporate the laws of physics to talk about uh instead of transforming computers and machines Mm -hmm. transforming our lives Mm. And so as I started to <clears throat> dig deeper into the African sacred science and the laws of physics uh, for in the spirit of tra- change and transformation, mm-hmm. everything just, uh, you know, from a manifestation standpoint, things just started coming together. Now, 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 Brother Ron, you know, that pe- people that are just tuning in, let me just uh, clarify with people. This is his website, blackmatterslives.net. And also... He has um, his other website, ronspearspoetry.com. And I want people to uh, recognize that he also, you can contact him by spearsconsult at gmail.com. And don't forget, I'm going to be posting this webinar. He got a webinar coming up. I want to make sure we do talk about the webinar. But, you know, you're saying physics, uh, physics, but there's also a metaphysics. I can see what you're doing here because you got manifesting. Uh, you know, we, we're talking about what you say in the bottom of the book, manifesting change using the laws of physics, our minds and the power of spoken word. Now, tell us that connection between metaphysics and physics, please. Sure, sure. Well, that's the so in the in the um 
in the African sacred science, in mm-hmm. that in that tradition, obviously that's where you uh, the, the the whole as above, so below. Yes. And the as above is absolutely the metaphysics and the cosmology mm-hmm. of the the universe and how our our ancestors mapped all of that from the Dogon to the ancient Egyptians, mm-hmm. all of that mapped all of that out. Right. And uh, so that's kind of a lot of that started with the show that I have on Rev Shock's platform, mm. um, seeking higher omnipotent cosmic or conscious yes. knowledge. Yes. So that's uh, Rev Shock's platform. <laughs> and so, you know, that's kind of he and I kind of connected. I did not know the brother, but I started the algorithm started putting a lot of his stuff on my mm-hmm. YouTube. And I was like, man, let me reach out to this brother. And um, and yeah, I mean, our frequency, you know, first frequency of oneness. Uh, you know, I just happened to be on that wavelength and and, and he called immediately. Mm, you know, I mm. sent him one of my uh, one of my spoken word videos uh, when mm. I was at Gory Island mm. um, and, and did a video shoot on location at Gory Island. Wow. Uh, and and he, he picked up the phone and called. It's like, bruh, <laughs> we got to meet. <laughs> and so um, we uh, he put me on the show with Kaba. And, and, and I mean, man, <laughs> mm. I was oh, like, man. that was uh, mind blowing. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, and so then what came out of that is we started a regular series called the metaphysicist and the physicist as yes. above. So below. Yeah. And so, you know, Rev Shock is, uh, is the Ph.D. in metaphysics. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I was obviously the physicist. And so we were just sort of talking about the laws of physics and how, um, you know, kind of the as above and so below come together. So, mm-hmm. you know, like the classical physics you know, which is that three dimensional plane. But then in order to get onto that metaphysical side on the quantum side, mm-hmm. that is all uh, metaphysical at that point, because because uh, you're dealing with that higher dimension. So instead of, you know, the classical physics, you're doing dealing with quantum physics mm-hmm. as it relates to matter, uh, matter changes when yes. you uh, go faster than the speed of light, uh, electricity and magnetism uh, changes when you get to that uh, speed of light to that fourth dimension. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so the waves, it becomes waves, sound waves Mm. that you can't really hear. Whereas you and I can listen to the reggae and the house music and all of that. Right. Right. That, that African drum that we can hear on the so below side. Right. But when it has above, the waves, you can't really hear those waves. They're electromagnetic waves, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, and so it, it, it things things move a little bit differently uh, in the realm of the quantum. And so uh, so being the physicist, uh, having that background, I can break things down. And as it relates to, you know, some sort of plain, let's just call it plain English to understand, right, right, right. But, you know, uh, all these subjects, you know, physics, right. chemistry, engineering, these are, you know, these are European constructs. Right, right. Are, of course. These right. are made, we are physics. Of course. You know yeah, I mean? walk it, walk in mathematics. Physics doesn't mean anything. That's right. I became physics. That's right. We are walking you physics. You are physics. Right, you are right. chemistry. That's right. It's part of our DNA. It's part of our ancestry. So, so all we have to do, you talk about manifestation, mm-hmm. is tap into the inner you know the stuff that we that is already in us and bring it out you know no you you know that is very interesting only because you know i've listened to reverend ike mm-hmm. who to me he born he born a day after you or he no he born Jan, june 1st you're born june 9th mm-hmm. but reverend ike talked about metaphysics and he mm. talked about using the metaphysics and learning how to control the mind and become it, become what you say you are. Yes, I am, those type of uh, frequencies. So it's very important that what you're doing and blending in and what you did with, with Reverend Shock, you know, y'all was tearing it up and I was watching and paying attention. But I, I, I was saying, I'm, I'm saying that, I'm saying this because a lot of people don't realize that both of them work hand to hand. If we yeah. really want to put it from you know from that perspective, they both work to have. What what do you say to that? That they they work in that unison, that kind of way, please. Yeah, well, I say they had that. You're absolutely right. Uh-huh. Now, the tricky part, mm-hmm. the tough part, is making it come together mm. to to do more than what we're doing right now. Talking about it, right. manifesting is now that you have this knowledge. How are you? What are you doing with it to make this world a better place, to make your life better and meaningful and to do something Mm -hmm. for our people? 
Mm-hmm. And then what are you? Uh, and so that that's where the manifestation comes in, because it's one thing to have that knowledge and it's a beautiful mm-hmm. thing, um, mm-hmm. you know, but you can't stop there. You have to find a way to find your 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 sort of your your, your cosmic or divine purpose or assignment right. that you are given. Not the one that you pick yourself, mm. but the one that you are given, which will come to you, mm. you know? And um, so for me, it mainly came, that that's the main part that I, that I focus on is mm-hmm. what are you doing with this knowledge to make this world a better place, to move our people, you know, to, to deal with all of the drama of colonization and slavery mm. and the ramifications of all of the, the epigenetics behind post-traumatic slavery syndrome that still affects us to this day. You know, mm. at, at Morehouse, we're, we're taught leadership and service. So we're, we're taught to give back to the community and, right. and, and do it in a big way. And so right. that's kind of one of our, our, our key things. Uh, and, and so, you know, I was able to find a way when I returned home, uh, yeah. you know, First thing, the first thing I struggled with was returning mm-hmm. to the church that I grew up in because, of course, of course. Mm-hmm. you know, because because you ha- you can imagine and everybody goes through this when they get we all go. when they get conscious <laughs> exactly because they're like man I've been lied to all my life <laughs> yes <sir. laughs> and, and and so you know but uh, you know my father was was really big in the in the church and the church is one of the reasons why I even went to uh, Morehouse because you know that that's where. I, I didn't know a whole lot about the HBCUs down right, south, right, right, up right. north. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, you know, I went on a HBCU tour, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and the rest was history. So, you know, mm-hmm. the, the Usia teaches you to stay loyal Usia. to those who help you prosper. That's right. That's right. And that's so, right. um, so I did return, uh, eventually I would return, but I mean, what really got me going was the million man March. Mm, yes. The, Talk the about high that. that I came off of from attending mm-hmm. the, the Million Man March, and I believe it was October of 95. 95, yes, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, just the the energy of just driving down the freeway, the turnpike mm-hmm. to get there and stopping at the rest stops and hugging on complete strangers because we yeah. knew we were all going. And just right. the energy of the day, and yeah. then the uh, the call to action and the assignment. That's right. That's right. And so, that's right. so that's kind of when I returned home and um, uh, started getting active and figure out what can I do. And then uh, they just happened to start a rites of passage program um, there, and mm-hmm. I joined and became the the chief teacher for the boys who go to Africa each year. And so oh. we were taking kids to Africa. And, and, and let's 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 deal with that because there's a lot of children that you know parents let the children watch my show. I try to keep it as clean as possible, mm-hmm. and, uh, but you know people in inner cities have lost that rites of passage because they rites of passage. And I could say that for myself because my parents didn't understand that. I guess they didn't you know whatever they didn't get in Jamaica and Cuba because that's where my parents are from. And here in America. A lot of us didn't get the, the rites of passage to our schools. Our rites of passage was gang play. Our rites of passage was going into the 5%. Our rites of passage was going into the nation or going into a Hebrew organization or whatever. I was in the, uh, the Nubian Islamic Hebrew under Dr. Yep. York also, Imam Issa. I, was, I, was, I went to all those schools to find my, let's say, manhood because we yeah. needed that. Because my, my father was in and out. So, I, and, I, I, and let me tell you something, uh, I really... I tell people this, I've said this before, but I remember when I was so upset with my father that I, I wrote him a letter in, and if you're, if you understand military people understand that you, I wrote him a letter in red ink and telling him that, you know, because of this, 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 that I couldn't stay around the female energy of my mother and my sister at that time. And I needed to leave. So I ran away from home. Like I left home at like 16, 17 to Go and find what I, and I joined the Muslim community. I, I, matter of fact, I went to Jamaica for six months, the Caribbean, mm. and stayed with my grandfather who was up in age. You know, he was getting up there because he, he lived to 103. And he, and when I talked to my grandfather, Ron, during those times, I didn't know he was a friend of Marcus Garvey. I didn't know he was in the UNIA. He didn't teach wow. his daughters, and his daughters didn't tell me. But I was always gravitating, gravitating to Garvey through reggae music. You know, reggae promotes Garvey and all that. And mm-hmm. I was always, so I'm saying that because a lot of us young men back in the 80s when the crack era was turning up, mm-hmm. we almost got caught in that foolishness. Somebody tried to spike my marijuana and almost got me. 
-hmm. And then uh, we didn't have that rites of passage. Or let me say, I, we wasn't connected to people at that time because Dr. Ben was out doing his thing. So was yep. Barashango and all the greats. But I, yep. my energy did not pick up and connect. The rites of passage program, taking these children, how was some of the, the how did some of these children feel, these young men feel after they went through some of the programs that you did, taking them back to the motherland and back and all that, please, for these amount of years that you did? Yeah, no, it's... um. You know, one of the things that I love doing is uh, storytelling because we need to get back to that as, yes. a, as a tradition. The griot site, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. The West African uh, tradition of the griot mm -hmm. and storytellers. Mm -hmm. griot, yeah. And one of the things that I'm blessed to do mm -hmm. is, um, you know, there was a number of, each year in the 90s, we would take a different group of boys to, uh, mm -hmm. to Senegal and the Gambia mm -hmm. for this ritual. And so... So now these young men are now in their, you know, 30s and 40s mm -hmm. with uh, wives and, and, and kids and, and, and families of their own. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when you when you're a 13 year old taking a trip, some of these boys, this was their first time getting on an airplane. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're flying wow. to Africa. Wow. Uh, and so there's a is a tendency to be a little bit overwhelmed. It's mm -hmm. sort of like it'll 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 hit you later. They definitely remember the trip. Mm -hmm. But to hear these young men and um, in my as part of my webinar series, there's a mm -hmm. uh, there's a point where, where people are going to get the interviews that I do with young men. Yes. 20 years after the trip mm -hmm. where they're now grown <clears throat> and they can process the trip a whole lot better, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but but there were moments there are times when um, and I do this as one of my as part of one of my storytelling uh, thing, which is also part of it. But um, right. going to Gory Island. Yes. Every year mm -hmm. with a different group of young men mm -hmm. is a rush of emotions. If you've ever been the first time you go, you're going to be so angry. Of course. You're going to be so angry. You're going to be full of, of, of that emotion. And, uh, but, but when you go several times, I, I have, I felt different energy each time or different emotions. And I was able to capture it in uh, a spoke mm -hmm. as a spoken word, you know, and mm -hmm. um, but anyway, for these boys, as part of that, uh, that that tour, they would put shackles on the boys. And I remember the look on their face, Wow, you know, uh, looking at the door of no return of and just imagining, you know, them going through that door. And then me being I was the closest thing to a father for a lot of these young mm -hmm. men because uh, we've been meeting every saturday right, right for a couple of years before they get eligible to take the trip to africa mm. and um and so yeah to see that raw emotion on the young boys faces as a 13 year old processing it as a 13 year old yeah you know was uh was 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 powerful no and i mean i mean tears are coming to my eyes already because i've not been there yet i've not been i'll be mm -hmm. honest because of you know, messed up my passport, did all kind of stuff. So, yeah. you know, doing the revolutionary stuff and and then also, you know, that child support too. You have to go through yeah. that. I'm honest with people. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm yeah. Afraid. You know, because, and, but, you know, I remember Dr. Khalid talking about that at one of our FY classes years ago. And he brought tears to our eyes then about that whole type of thing. And, and Dr. Ben, listening to Dr. Ben and John Henry Clark and Professor Jeffrey speak about it. Every time someone speaks about it, like you're saying, I bring tears to come to my eyes because I can feel the energy vicariously through y'all. And that's and see, that's 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 manifesting because yes, you know, you haven't been no, no, sir. but in my dreams, you watch my video, it's a two and a half minute video. You will, it's like you're there, yes, it's like you're there. You know, but 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 I, I'll just share this with your community because because see, this is where the power of spoken word yes is mm -hmm. okay. I felt an ancestral welcome my first time on African soil, mm -hmm. but when I got to Gory Island, my blood began to boil. I cried as I stood in front of the door of no return, and I wished that all Europeans would die and mm -hmm. burn. My mm -hmm. second trip enabled me to take in the psychic trauma. I actually listened to the curator describe all the drama. Dungeons where men, women, and children were just tossed. Slave ships would arrive to participate in this Holocaust. Mm. My third trip changed my whole concept of religion. A Christian chapel upstairs is what caused my division. Mm. 
You see, slave merchants would worship and then rape women and girls. How God allowed such a tragedy through my mind into a world. My fourth trip provided insight for my healing process to start. You see, history goes in cycles and people are simply pawns just playing their parts. Mm -hmm. The Middle Passage spread Africans throughout the diaspora, adding our unique spice to the Caribbean, North and South America. Mm -hmm. My fifth trip to Gory Island was an experience of jubilation. Standing at the door of no return this time was actually a celebration. Mm -hmm. You see, Europeans enslaved themselves first, but they either died or failed to thrive. I was able to return as a tourist on the shoulders of my ancestors' will to survive. Mm -hmm. My anger and question of God's wisdom has now come to an end. The ability to forgive helps the process for a broken heart to mend. My wish is for the world to understand the magnitude of this great debt and for everyone of African descent to experience this and never, ever forget. Man, let's give that a round of applause. Ooh, boy. Ooh, make sure you go to his website, Rock <laughs> Poetry. Dot com. I mean, and he blends it. And of course, blackmatterlives.net. And family, please order the book. Because the book, the book is, I just got it in the mail today. That's the book that I just got into the mail today. And I'm going to go delve right into it, man. And if you look at the bottom of what it says on the bottom of the book, family, let me, let me take that off of there. Manifesting change using the laws of physics, our minds and the power of the spoken word that blend alone because we know our people love music we know music is one of the instruments that they took away from us when they pulled us through that 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 that, that on that, purpose because they knew about the vibration of that african drum of course you know <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm good at this drum thing and i didn't go to a class right I've never went to a class. You don't have I just, to. It's already I, I, it's in already you. in me. Manifesting it. <laughs> you know, and I've been I've I've done dreams. I've flown over Kemet. I've been in yep. West Africa. I've been I've been there. I've fought wars in my past. I've seen the dreams in my astral travel. So I know. And every time I'm about to get killed or somebody's attacking, I wake up like, yo, I should have I should have I should have moved and did a, did another thing because I you know <laughs> trained martial arts for years, but. That was a po profound, profound spoken word uh, piece oh, that you, you just shared, man. And uh, I want to share your websites definitely. Uh, I know you're going to be. I know you're doing something. Also, are you going to be speaking at the uh, One Africa thing too in Detroit? Um, be... No, no, I'm going to be. I'm going to be there with pad and pencil. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming you up. Know, I'm going to be right back to like when I was in the in the 80s. You know, at, mm. at Morehouse. I'm I'm just going to be sitting down taking notes. But what um. Mm -hmm. What I am doing, I was uh, I was part of the group, um, yes. the Hoppy group. I was going to Kemet with the Hoppy group earlier mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. and um, and that's where the conference was supposed to to take place. Yes. Right. And then uh, some things have happened that that caused that trip to get uh, postponed. Mm -hmm. And so um, so yeah. we are still going, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that trip or that the conference was moved to Detroit. Yes, I guess. And so that's my hometown. Yes, the D. Man, we got to the so. D. <laughs> <laughs> no matter of fact, family, if you want to get your live stream tickets, if you can't make it, you can go to the website right there below because I'm one of the people that's selling tickets on my website. That's kingsilentproductions.wordpress.com forward slash events. Go straight to the links because I'm, I'm telling you, family, if you can't make it out to the D because they only have a few more seats left, I'm telling you, family, make sure you get the live stream because you're going to see some elegance, some some lessons. To get your, make sure you have your notebook i know everybody that's on there gonna speak and they're gonna speak they're gonna really speak i know how they speak <laughs> i know that's right i'll be there all day taking notes oh, man. man i gotta take two or three journals man i'm a <laughs> i'm gonna I'm a get that knowledge man but uh but well, what i am doing yes sir is um so the the as you as your flyer said you know it's the uh 30th mm -hmm of april and the yes, first of uh may first of may right right now right. the the night of that first day saturday april 30th mm -hmm. uh i'm going to be hosting um them the elders and and everybody who who wants to to come and you know gets the a ticket to a gala mm -hmm. at our uh african-american museum here mm -hmm. in uh, detroit mm -hmm. so it's a beautiful museum if you haven't uh seen it mm -hmm. and uh and so it has this magic this majestic rotunda Mm -hmm. uh, with all the different nations there. And so it's just a beautiful place to, uh, to, to host these distinguished elders and scholars. 
Yes. Uh, and then the guests who, who who attend the conference that want to come to this reception, we're going to have food, we're going to have a DJ, and yes. they're going to open up the exhibits, um, and they have the King Tut exhibit there now, uh, and then uh, the, the famous uh, And Still I Rise uh, exhibit that has an actual mm -hmm. okay. replica of a slave ship and the door of no return there. Okay, so, great, so great. great. Family, if you can't make it. Yeah. If you can't get the butts in the seats, you got to see the live stream. But the butts in the seats, you got to go to hoppyfilm.com. That's hoppyfilm.com. I'll put that in the chat and put that on the screen. But if you want the live stream through my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com forward slash events, please lock in and lo be loaded and get ready to get that knowledge. Like Khaled used to talk about the knowledge gangster. You know, we used to talk about getting that knowledge. It's gangster to get knowledge. But you got to apply the knowledge after you get this knowledge. Out, and playing. that's that that that's the most that part that, that part, right <laughs> that <there>. part. <laughs> no but i like how you blend the spoken word with the music and all of that you even do with house music which is interesting because the drum in house music since i've been growing up has always had me working out i always go to my workout go to the gym we even train to house music sometimes martial arts we train it and we move it with the speed of the music and we doing all of our katas and whatever we doing we taking yeah. down people with a flow and throwing them because we do jujitsu under um Dr. Moses Powell system, so Sanukas. So we used to do all of that stuff. So, brother, what made you decide to mix and blend your spoken word with the house music and present this type of information through the spoken word? Uh, now I, lo I love your line of questioning because you know, in order to understand Black Matter Lives, you have to understand the origin story. <laughs> You know, because mm, yeah, there's an origin story to all of this. Because mm -hmm. uh, Black Matter Lives is is a culmination of of things that I've done as part of my life as, you know, when, when COVID took us out, mm -hmm. we had so much time for self-reflection. Yes. And, and it's what I call connecting the dots. Mm -hmm. And so, cause things just don't happen randomly, right. you know? And so, 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 you know, that, um, the spoken word, uh, house music is really big here in Detroit. Yes. Really, really big, just as it is in, in New York and mm -hmm. Chicago, of course. Um, and other places as well. But, uh, you know, we have a big festival uh, each year. It's called Movement. Mm. And, you know, kids from all over the world come, descend on Detroit. Wow. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of gotten a little bit more techno, and I'm I'm into that deep, you know, tribal mm, house, you know. Of course. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so I have a good relationship with a lot of the DJs here. And, uh, and so every now and then they'll do these little DJ battles. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and then one of the DJs here in Detroit battled a, a legendary DJ in Chicago. And mm -hmm. so he was like, man, this dude is is huge. So I'm going to need I'm going to need something different and unique about my set. So he asked me to open up his set with a spoken word piece. Oh, that's tight. Mm. Right. Right. Mm. And um, and then and he ended up winning the DJ battle. <laughs> wow, get that around of applause. <laughs> I gotta get that around. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And so no, no, no worries. No, and so so I, I know the DJs who were the uh the judges, and I looked at their score sheets, hmm. or they let me look at the score sheets, and right. it was the intro that put him over the top because there was you know, both of them, their music was sound. Right, right, right. It right. was the spoken word intro that put him over the top. Hmm. So as a reward or a, or a thank you. He let me open up his DJ set at the big conference in the, the movement festival. Mm. And I did a piece called the African drum. Mm. And brother, I don't know. You 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 were gonna play, you can play that piece because that's on the website that I gave you earlier. Let me let me let me let me go let me go bring it. Let me bring it up, my brother. You can listen to that piece, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me bring this thing up. Go ahead. Talk talk until I bring it up. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, talk. This is the piece that I did, the African drum where I break down, you know, basically how this communicated messages to unite people mm -hmm. and put them in a spiritual zone, mm -hmm. you know? Let's see and so, we're... which one is this, bro? Oh, okay, so go, go to, to, uh, go to bundle. bundle offer. I, yeah, I did, I just went to bundle. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so you're gonna scroll down and then, uh, and then you're gonna see, keep going. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that one right there. Okay, nope, hold you on. went too far. Too far. You see the African see. drum right the drum right there. The drum. Ah, yes. Let me yeah. let's, let's 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 see what we can if we can hear it. Can can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Woo. 
When God created the original people of the earth, he gave them the African drum. Now, once the Africans started to beat that drum, he had no idea what was to come. From the union of the African and his drum came a mighty rhythm and tone that communicated messages to unite people and put them in a spiritual zone. The power of that drum spread throughout the entire continent for hundreds of years, connecting all African people to one single heartbeat manifesting through their ears. Forced through the Middle Passage and scattered throughout the Western Hemisphere, we lost our traditions, culture, and connection, making our survival as a people unclear. Oh, but the Creator was wiser than us. Little did we know our reawakening would soon come. The common bond and unifying force in us can be traced back to that African drum. No matter where the African people are in this world, different rhythms would emerge. Unknown to the world, the start of a new music genre in Detroit, New York, and Chicago was on the verge. From the basement of African people came a unique blend of rhythmic beats and chants. The house music seed was born and spread throughout the world like wild plants. Our memories were forever shaped by this new form of music that touched our souls. Just hearing this music causes us to dance like we're on top of hot burning coals. The DJ plays the beats that resonates with the mind, body, and spirit. The sultry vocal tracks call and the people respond as soon as they hear it. We suffer withdrawal symptoms waiting for the DJ to give us our next fix. The best way to describe this feeling is like that scene from Zion in the Matrix. House music, for those who believe, is just as powerful as any religion. The right DJs are like ministers, and the mm -hmm. spoken word has always been our tradition. All over the world, people react to this powerful force called house music. The intense popularity of this genre guarantees its longevity to stick. Such potential for this music to unite people with so much drama to overcome. It's hard to believe that the creator started this whole revolution with that African drum. Yo! Yo, yo, that's right. Yo, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to get this. I'm about to get this. Yo, that's my workout right there. Yeah, so I mean that's my that's my primordial waters of noon spoken yo, word project, you know, yo, that's where I that, get the get the straight whole tepery of, of, of storytelling. Hold on, hold on, Ron, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Everybody go to his websites right now and go get that, go feel those rhythms there because he got more on there. Ron Spears poetry.com. It's yeah, I'm yo, I was getting ready to dance behind this thing. I was about to jump on this damn uh, this damn desk. <laughs> And rip it. I was about to do at least 100 push ups. <laughs> I was about to go work out. That's how deep it is. Brother, yeah. I'm proud of you, man. Man, oh, get that around. Man. Oh, man. It's, it's so much fun. This cold man. content creation space is so fun. P pulling all that stuff together, oh, writing those man. lyrics, and then telling the stories, you mm -hmm. know, because that's, um, you know, that's just sort of what we do. That's what I do. Yes. And um, and it's just so much fun to, uh, you know, to do this type of stuff and to tell these stories. And yes. and you see that most of my stuff is like three minutes or less, you know, yes. because people in their attention spans, oh, you yeah. know, yeah, it's crazy. But, but, but you can tell a powerful story in three yes. minutes or less. Yes, you can. Yes, you know, you can. Yes, you can. and Look so that's that. just sort of, um, you yeah. know, um, this just, I just wanted to make sure. I don't want to say too much. I don't. I don't know the, how the, the algorithms are going. To go. I don't want these people knocking me out. Oh yeah, just, no. These are now. These are some original scored okay, good, uh, good, uh, music yeah. tracks. So good. so no, you're 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 good with that. No, but um, I, I love that you're blending the spoken word with the consciousness of the the African drums, and I know it is. It also can get erotic, also because you mm -hmm. know Africans love. We love, and sometimes we gotta hear those drums. And the, I mean, I I make love to drums, so I know how this yeah. thing works. You know what I'm saying? So I understand. I, I got the whole. I, I, I got all of that. I got all. Of that. Well, well, you see, okay, so. So I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up. Hey, you hey, said hey. You, you you set it up. You did yeah. the alley oop. I'm about to dunk I, it. I, I know you about to. All right. <laughs> so the the webinar series is four is four parts. The first yes. one is the Gagu. Um, God Almighty, Grand Unified yes. Theorem. I'm gonna break down the physics, the mathematical physics behind mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So that's the first webinar uh, that's gonna happen next week on Wednesday, yes. April. This uh, I'm doing this every Wednesday in April. 
uh, mm -hmm. 8 p.m. Eastern is uh, a, a, a webinar. The this second is, one is going to be on. Let me ahead. tell them. This is the four-week webinar. This is a four-week webinar. It's right here. The link is on. I got the link in the chat, family. So make sure I'm going to post it again. The chat is hot. It's, the chat is hot. That's good. I like that. And, uh, you know, like I said, like I said, um, when I was doing abundance from Delaware, remember, I like quality people, not quantity. It's all about quality. Y'all are supportive. So that's good. So that's what this webinar is coming up. Make sure you go to the web. Can they go to your website also and get the link to, to the webinar too? Uh, not can? to the webinar. The, the, the web website is for the uh okay. the, just the spoken word projects but if right. you get the if you if you do the webinar then you're going to get all of the spoken word stuff okay okay uh, as part of the webinar great so great. if you just want the spoken word stuff go to the website okay okay right mm -hmm. but if you want to 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 get the webinar then you're going to get the spoken word as part of the the webinar series okay well go uh, ahead and, and continue so, brother what you were saying yeah so the first yeah. webinar next wednesday is going to be on gagut uh the mathematical physics behind the god almighty grand unified theorem Mm -hmm. uh, the second webinar is going to be uh, the following Wednesday is going to be on the uh, Sankofa experience. So that's where the laws mm -hmm. of physics and the black matter lives, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of breaking that down in terms of our uh, spiritual development to that Kepra, that 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 becoming mm -hmm. uh, so of manifestation. And mm -hmm. then the third uh, webinar is going to be on rites of passage. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to break down the youth because you got to have something for the young people to get these young folks conscious and mm -hmm. get their uh, knowledge. And so that's where things like this, um, mm -hmm. you know, those types of spoken word projects are OK for young people to understand and get that concept. But um, but also in that uh, third webinar, I'm going to give away my entire curriculum for rites of passage. Uh, mm. and that OFA documentary and the rites of passage curriculum uh, mm. so that people can go out and start teaching young people and their parents exactly. about uh, consciousness. So it's for young people and adults. But that fourth one, the yes, fourth sir. module, the fourth mm -hmm. webinar mm -hmm. is going to be about black love mm. uh, because a lot of my poetry is uh, it is. It's romantic. Exactly. Uh, there's some romantic pieces to it, you know, and uh, uh, you know, because because as above, so below, uh, yes. you know, the origin of the conscious universe, the cosmic universe, the big, the big bang, that's the a big vibration. bang, <laughs> the vibration, baby. <laughs> exactly. So as above, so below, there's vibrations down below, too. Right. And, <laughs> exactly. um, and, and and so when your intro, you were talking about, you know, my black matter lives, you talked mm -hmm. about Sankofa, but then yeah. you said moisture. Did you say moisture? Yeah, I, said moisture. Yeah. Nah, I know that's what, I, I knew where that was going because I've had the, uh, we've done, I've done erotic uh, spoken word artist shows and stuff okay. in New York. In New York, we, we've tore it up back in the day with uh, Ainsley and Burroughs and all kinds of people. So we de definitely, brother, I understand uh, vagina, the vagina monologues was crazy with it too. Yep, so yep, I don't know if yep. they used to go, go, with, with, go and do it. And big up to people like uh, Alexis K. Tyler that I used to do certain things too. My goodness. So my brother, I am uh, honored that you came on to show us and, and tell us about the book now. Tell us more about yeah. the book. Let's talk about that real quick. Go ahead. Sure, Go ahead. sure. So um, so Black Matter lives, you know, because mm -hmm. obviously it's a play on Black Lives Matter. Yes, it is. Yes. Right. And just with the words changed around and then the word has different meaning. Yes. Uh, pronounced differently. So mm -hmm. Black Matter lives. And so when you think about that, you know, obviously the black matter is the melanin, mm -hmm. the dark matter in our in our minds. Mm -hmm. And we have once you and you know, I'm all about that fourth dimension, you mm -hmm. know, of that quantum realm of metaphysics. Yes. And so now we actually are talking about, you know, elevating our, our consciousness uh, and to, to becoming. And yeah. so black matter lives. So lives. It's it's kind of an acronym for love mm -hmm. increases your vibration mm. to disrupt the epigenetic signal. Right. Mm. And so mm. love, love comes natural for us. Yeah. You know, it's in our ancestral DNA as first frequency Africans. Love mm -hmm. is a force. Mm -hmm. It's the strongest force in the universe when it's connected to our black matter. Yes. Now, love starts with self. Mm -hmm. Self-knowledge is the foundation and beginning of the power of love. We all have gone through that. Mm -hmm. And what physics teaches us is that an object at rest will remain at rest until an external force is acted upon it. And that external force is love. 
That's mm-hmm. when we get conscience, mm-hmm. you know. But now, you know, spirituality is the foundation to understand the power of the black matter to transform love mm-hmm. into a force. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes, you know, when you don't put it into a force, it, it gets misrepresented. It's like you go start hugging people in court who who just killed your your brother or your son. <laughs> right. Like that. You right. Know, that, right. Yeah. I, you know. We as people, you you for, you go into a church and kill everybody, and then you mm-hmm. that you show love for, you for still that. Show right? love, right? You, mm-hmm. I understand where it comes from, but mm-hmm. we have to apply it as a force, okay, to bring yes. about. Uh, so that's love in the three dimensional plane. That's the Black mm-hmm. Lives Matter plane. Mm-hmm. We need to change it to love in the fourth dimension, which is the vibration. So mm-hmm. that's where the increasing your vibration helps because now that you're into this fourth dimension if you can elevate your mind to that level Mm -hmm. then you can the epigenetics teaches us that the post-traumatic slave syndrome and all of the all of the stuff affects us to this day Mm -hmm. and the you know the relationship problems (laughs) the self-hate the addiction the fear the health the breakup of the family poverty Mm -hmm. education so physics teaches us that mm-hmm. for every action, there's an equal and opposite right. reaction. Yes, the sir. spirituality is the energy doesn't mm-hmm. cannot be created or destroyed. It ch- changes form. Right. That's right. the force of love. But we can't get past that other, that equal and opposite reaction. And mm. that's why so many times, even if we get conscious, we are not able to manifest. Right. Right. Because right. we can't fight that. <clears throat> we can't get over that obstacle. Right. And so. African sacred science teaches us that the black matter returns us to those waters of noon mm-hmm. to uh, to basically wield that power of love. And then through meditation, we can overcome those obstacles mm-hmm. and use the spoken word. So my spoken word is that pata that yes. takes ad- energy in motion now. Yes, yes, to help yes. increase the vibration. Right. Yes. And so Gagu teaches us and uh, reveals that this battle of those opposing forces is basically I, I break that down using mathematical physics. It's mm-hmm. it's to be expected. So now once that once you get there, now you can improve and you can start to do work and you can manifest change mm-hmm. because you have yeah. been able to elevate your dark matter into that fourth dimension, into that next dimension, and use it as a as a form of manifesting change. Mm-hmm. And so so basically the, you're back to the African sacred science. Right about the black matter drives the energy of Kepper or Atum, that creative mm-hmm. force. Now you have the creative force. Mm-hmm. And so manifestation now, the outcome of the whole electromagnetic theory or black matter is a disruption, the permanent disruption mm-hmm. of that epigenetic signal. So we, as a people, we can start to vibrate collectively, globally, and, and just you know really start to see real tangible change and so he, it's, a, it's a manifesto to change you know no, but no what's so powerful about that because back in the day you you and i you know we probably read you know uh, napoleon hill's book think and grow rich where mm-hmm. he talked about the transmutation of sex which mm-hmm. is really transmutation of love if you really look at it and how to use that energy of love because in that segment of his book, he was talking about, of course, how men will do things for women and how they will produce and build things. I like mean, slap people during the Oscars for <laughs> love. <laughs> Let's get that around. Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, look, I understand, but it could have been done differently. But, <laughs> but uh, yo, but uh, yeah, yes, like that. Things can happen like that. It can go down that road, you know, so. But, um, uh, uh, you know, people make sure y'all get his book. Remember, his webinar is and, and, and talk, talk about that, that, that uh, goggle, because that Dr. Oibo, the great Dr. Mm-hmm. Oibo, uh, whom I've gotten to speak with, spoken with, and I'm trying to link you with him right now through Clemson Brown, who anybody who knows Clemson, uh, Minister Clemson Brown, he's the, he's the one that runs tap videos, longest extensive videos of all of our greats from back in those days. He's traveled with all of them. And he gave me the opportunity to speak with him. T- tell us about that real quick, because I know it's a it's it's a theorem, right? It's a theorem. It's not just a theorem. Yeah, right? it's a theorem. Yeah, so the whole G I J comma J equals zero. Yes. you know, and and it's uh um you know 
in order to understand the equation, you have to understand or know tense. It's a tensor uh, physics, mm -hmm. which is a mathematical physics, uh, you know, term of vectors and direction. Right. But, um, you know, the, 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 the whole purpose of me sharing that story from graduate school, that mm -hmm. formula that stuck in my head, and that's the self-knowledge, spirituality, obstacles, self-improvement and life skills, that middle part of spirituality and obstacles, that battle of mm -hmm. energy cannot be destroyed and then yes. the opposing force mm -hmm. and then the transformation so if you think about it it's the ij as i as i pull it as i pull the pieces together to understand why this has been in my head mm -hmm. it's the ij and then the gj is the transformation at this point when you do, you do that comma that's that invariant that's a transformation mm -hmm. once you go through the transformation then you, or you, you can manifest because you don't have to worry about those opposing forces anymore. You're able to manifest. And so that's the, uh, the, the IJ is that the IJ is basically that initial mm -hmm. battle that, that most of our people can't get past. Mm -hmm. but if you transform mm -hmm. and get past that, then that's, as he says, God does not change past mm -hmm. the future. And so, you know that at a, at ten thousand feet, that's kind of um, how the tensor uh, equation works out. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the webinar, I'll break it, down, break it down right, right further. Yeah. But just at a high level, um, that's kind of how how it makes sense to me. Right. You right, know. Right. Right. right and right. and I've listened to Professor Oibu explain yeah. it. You know. Mm -hmm. And and you know it, I had to kind of go back into some of my old textbooks, of course, and, of course, of course. And, and, and do some things to kind of, but but you know, it really kind of makes sense to me now. Yeah. Uh, but I had to I had to kind of break it down a little, dissect it a little right. bit, uh, and and to some degree, it still is a little it's, theoretical. Right. You, did you yeah. see the um, interview with him and Kaba? Did you watch that yeah. one when him and Kaba did? Yeah, boy, Kaba yeah. Hiawatha and them. Yeah. Right. I mean, he, him and uh, Dr. Phil Valentine has also linked up and spoke because he had uh, Dr. Phil Valentine had him at one of the um, gatherings of the masters at his house one time, mm -hmm. like when I was younger. And so, yeah, so and, and, and it was just a pleasure to speak to him at his old age, especially what he's going through. And, you know, he's trying to protect his life. So I understand that. And um, I'm just commend that brothers like you, younger brothers like you can take this to the next level, because whoever comes after you going to have to reveal it and, and like. They gonna just like fly like in the Matrix, like Neo. They just go yeah, after exactly. that. Like, like, now I know what it is. <laughs> I know what this is. So I can do this. <laughs> so I, I, I remember. I, um, <laughs> I think it was uh, Minister uh, Ava Muhammad. She yeah. used to. She used to say. When they come for you, they go hit. They go see your brick wall, your vibration. It will stop. And then the, it, she, used to, she used to say that they will stop if they even think about hurting you. They you stop. can stop them in the thought. You can stop the thought. Yes. I was just like, wow, that's deep. <laughs> no, it, 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 no, it works because I remember this brother named Ankh Han, Rising Son, who's a metaphysics, he gets into all of that. He taught us to chant, um, uh, I am invisible, I am invisible, I am invisible. Even while we used to drive down the highway, I used to travel with my friend up the highway. Matter of fact, she's on Facebook right now watching. And I used to chant that in my head. She wouldn't know, but just so police wouldn't stop me even if I'm moving at certain speeds. You know, because black man driving, yeah, you know, we we had to be there. So he he told us that, and I said, "Yo, that worked." And I remember walking in Brooklyn, and there was certain things going on. Cops was rushing to get certain places, and I just walked right through it. And I said, like, "This is interesting. How you can create that whole energy field around you?" Mm -hmm. And you know, people call it pseudo, but they don't understand. You know, I tell people all the time, especially in the so-called quote-unquote conscious community, be careful of using that word pseudo because every time Europe or Greece went into Africa and they didn't understand something, they call it pseudo. Mm. It was false to them. It's mm -hmm. false to them. But if it's spirituality, African science, they're not gonna, never going to really understand it the way we would understand it from giving the as above, so below until Pythagoras came and studied with us and then brought it back and all that kind of stuff, you know? So, you know, I, I'm proud of what you're doing. That's what, and just to say that, I'm just proud of what you're doing, my brother. And oh, um, thank you. I'm gonna keep you so long. I just wanna thank you very much for coming on and and and, and sharing that wisdom, man, sharing your, 
your light is showing. Uh, you know, I'm thankful to uh, Felicia for even introducing us on the air the last mm -hmm. time, but I never really got to meet you. And uh, I got your book. I'm definitely going to delve into that. And uh, we're going to have you on again, my brother, so we can have some more fun, <laughs> after, especially after I read some of the poetry. Up in the <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's that, that's going to be like the next the next wave is like, you know, I kind of kept it whole temporary, you know. It's all right. Now, 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 now it's going to take a whole different turn. And then when you when you when you when you get into some of that stuff, yes, sir. Yes, I mean, sir. even I, um, even I look back at some of this. I I wrote that, <laughs> you know. I'm, but but you, you, I was channeling something back then. <laughs> I, and you I think know. all authors do that because I have to reread some of my books from my first book. I'd be like, what the hell? I didn't even know I wrote that about this and, and put it all together the way I, I did with a few of my promotional books. But brother, yes, um, all of my poetry is in the book, actually. Yes, um, I, you I, know, yes. so so it's all in there. But, you know, um, I definitely encourage folks to get the book. But yes, I got to tell you, man, listening to it. Yes. The spoken word is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you got to you. It hits you a whole different way. Yes, yes. hearing it. No, I, I, after that, listening to the house music part, and you know, I'm, I'm I used to work out the house music. I got a few friends in New York that they in Fort Green Park. It's house. They just Don Walsh, Tim Ridgeford. Uh, I mean, staying all of them tearing it down inside New York City. We used to go to the shelter and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We're singing them and party until like twelve noon in the afternoon. We well, we we started the party ten at night, and we there when the church people are going to church. <laughs> Outside, so we with them. They calling us sinners coming out of the club back in the day. So, my brother, I love and respect you, my brother, my brother. And uh, Likewise, I just want to break down one thing because this brother is born on uh, a six, uh, six nine sixty nine, and that energy is the energy of love, because in numerology, the study of numerology, six is the earthly energy of love, but nine is the higher energy of love. Those are the double love energy and. I see those two as two master numbers when you got six nine six nine because and and all those certain systems of numerology would add the nineteen if if you deal with Nubian numerology or Vedic numerology they remove the one and the nine because you're born in nineteen and use that six nine and then interpret it that way but I look at things from a holistic perspective like Dr Africa said look at it all and then mm -hmm. of course your life path is that twenty two when you add it up which is the master builder the master architect the master one that massively internally build and then bring it out of you to turn to take it to the next level so i see you put some of it in the book i did see that oh, and i yeah. said I, oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, yo as soon as i opened the book it went straight to the numbers it just show you what i'm gravitated to immediately so that's, i'm that's like vibration that's vibration <laughs> again so my brother uh congratulations for all you do give you a round of applause again once again thank you my brother for the high oh. level of love that you're, you're born the same day as T.D. Jakes, of course, and he gives love through his lecture. So I understand from his perspective, he's showing that love. So enough respect to whatever you do, however you do and keep on doing. I can't wait to meet you one day, my brother. And we're going to definitely hang out and play some house music or work out. Or I know that's right. I can't wait, brother. <laughs> All right, my brother, you be safe out there and uh, give the family a group hug, man. That's how we do. I certainly right? will. All right, Thanks, my brother. brother. Take care. Peace and love. All right. Peace. That's our brother, Brother Ron Spears in the building. All right. That was our brother, man. Man, that was good. I enjoyed every minute of that. Woo, man. And the house music, oh, man, his house music is off the hook. Let me see if I can play something else. This one is called The Water of Noon. This one is called The Water of Noon. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Can y'all hear it? Can y'all hear it? Let me know if you can hear it. Put it. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you can hear it. Put a one in the chat if you can hear it. Put a one in the chat if you could hear it. Because I can hear it in my ear, but I don't know if you can hear it out there. Can't hear it? Okay, let me let me put it up. Let me put it up. Let me put I want y'all to hear this. This is the water of the noon. This is the water of noon. Let me let me start it over. This is the this one is called the water of noon. Can you hear it now? 
It feels like you have all the confidence to make your dreams come true. It feels like you never want to spend another day in your life feeling blue. Can y'all hear it? Can y'all hear it? it Can y'all like hear you it? Never want to give up on the power of love. It feels like there's nothing greater than the spirituality that comes from above. It feels like for beautiful and sensual black women, you are the number one fan. It feels like romance is something you should always strive to be as good as you could. Make sure you go to his website. Make sure you go to his website, ronspearspoetry.com or blackmatterslives.net. That's the one, the only Ron Spears. Give that a round of applause, man. Wow. Work out to some conscious love poetry, some conscious knowledge poetry. Go to his website right now and spread love about it. We got to spread love, man. I, hey, that's my workout. You know, I'm going to work out for that. I might hear me tomorrow working out in, in the backyard here, training on some trees and just bop, 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 bop to some house music. <laughs> that's what it's going to be like tomorrow. So I'm feeling as long as the sun come out, I just talked to Brother Rich. Brother Rich and them want to do, um, they want to go up the mountain. We might go Stone Mountain tomorrow morning. So we looking at going to Stone Mountain tomorrow morning. So if we go up there, we probably go do some meditation real quick up on the mountains because this is the largest crystal. This is the largest exposed crystal in the world. Give that a round of applause. And I'm going to head over to Brother Rich right now because Brother Rich has uh, my my one, the only, my two brothers is on there, red and blue pill is on there. So we're going to spread. And again, make sure you get the book. Make sure you get the book. Black Lives, Black Matter Lives, Black Matter Lives. Of course, a play with the word Black Matter Lives. Uh, let me show the book up up close and personal so y'all can see it for yourself. And very good. He got his poetry in there, Sue. That's the book by Ron Spears. Uh, Ron Spears. So make sure you support his book. I forgot to talk about this. Of course, he was in Senegal. And this is the Senegal piece right here. Let me take this down. He was in Senegal right here. This is that 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 big monument in Senegal. So big up to that, of course. We forgot to talk about that. But if you do want to contact our brother, there it is. There it is. There it is. You can hit him up at spearsconsult at gmail.com. That's spearsconsult at gmail.com. The webinar is on and popping. Make sure you show him some love. Hit up his website. Hit up his website. This is the website. Once again, we want to thank him for coming on. And thank all of you for participating. Don't forget, coming up this coming Wednesday, we got the one, the only High Heels is going to be in the Mother Oracle media personality. It's going to be in her, the beautiful cancer self. Going to be in the building. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she lovely? Yeah. Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> you know, Stevie Wonder was talking about his baby girl <laughs> that was just born that time. And of course, on, let me see, on the 10th, on the 10th, we got the one, the only Master Mo coming in. Give Master Mo a well-deserved round of applause. President of the 52 Blocks Federation, former bodyguard of Wesley Snipes and many people filmmaker, actor, stuntman, and much more. We're going to talk about it. He studied on the VSK. He studied all kinds of differences. He's been a, a champion and all that kind of stuff. We're going to talk about it. Me and Sensei Shirley, that's his, uh, that's Sensei Shirley's professor. We're going to be interviewing him on April 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. You know what it is? And people, if you're going to Detroit, make sure you go to Detroit. I think seats are limited now. But if you can't make it to Detroit, family, all you have to do is this. Go to my website. Let me show you my website. Come on now. I'm going to hook y'all up. We want to make sure y'all get front row seat right there in your house. We're going to make sure you got front row seats right in your house. If you go to, if you want to see the live stream on your phone, on your big ass television, or your small ass television, or your computer screen, all you have to do is go to kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com forward slash events. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com forward slash events. And you'll get to see Dr. Malana Karenga, 
Let me let me enhance this on my side. So, okay, uh, Dr. Malefia Sante, Dr. Uh, Leonard Jeffrey, Dr. Uh, Bello, Dr. Uh, Professor James Smalls, Dr. Rosalind Jeffries, Dr. T uh, Dr. Tete, and Dr. Uh, Brother Jabari, Brother Asar, Brother uh, Dr. Uh, um, Chikwe Okua, and uh, many more that's going to be there. I'm telling you, family, you want to be there. If you can't be there live in Detroit at the Double Tree Hotel, then damn it, you better go over there and see the live stream and enjoy yourself. Very reasonable price. Very reasonable price. Make sure you show them some love. King Simon Productions WordPress.com. That's King Simon Productions WordPress.com forward slash the events forward slash events. And also join my website. Join my website. That's my website. Show love on the website. You know how we do. We got to show love. And like I said, spread love up. But up. That's right. Spread that love. Okay. Now, let's continue to finish off the advertisement here. Big up to my peoples. We are doing a major workshop right in Georgia. Now, if y'all want to be a part of this family, it's only $99 is the early bird tickets. It's $155. That's the regular price for this type of cosmic alignment workshop. Of course, you know I'm going to drop the numbers. You know I'm going to drop the numbers in all types of directions. And also we got Coach Helen, the business coach, that's going to be dropping her business, spiritual business, about the Zen bar and what she does and how she helps people and coach people because everybody need a coach, just like Mike Tyson, just like Michael Jordan, just like uh, Serena Williams and Venus Williams, they all needed coaches, whether it was their mama, daddy, or some white man that just came in to coach. It is what it is. And also, big up to Ellison making her first debut, master psychic medium and spiritual healer. Of course, the one, the only Ellison will be there live and direct. And don't forget, this is happening on May the 28th, gathering of the Grand Masters 2. In Brooklyn, baby, it's going to be off the hizzle for shizzle where you see VSK and Sanukis and uh, V. Arnie's come together as one. And even they're going to have a Tai Chi, combative Tai Chi and all that. So you, once you see Soke Little John in the mix, you know it's going to be a bunch of throwing. <laughs> we'll see a bunch of throwing with Soke Little John. <laughs> Curry is in there. Master Curry is there. Uh, 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 um, Sab Sabinman, Sabinman, um, uh, uh, brother Master um, David Herbert is going to be there. Hibbert and also Master David James is going to be there. Uh, Mutaka Bear is going to be crazy. Master George Logan is going to be there. Uh, Master GM Anthony, my teacher, and Bill, Bill McLeod and Anthony, Bill, Grandmaster Andrew, those are my two, my teachers, and Soke Little John used to touch me and beat me up all the time, too, back in the day. So enough respect to those great, great individuals. And if you want any spiritual past life uh, healing uh, sessions, contact the one, the only moderndaysage.com, moderndaysage.com. Hit her up, hit her up, show her some love, moderndaysage.com. You want to find out about your past life, some of the trauma you want to deal with. This sister is very good at what she does. Her, her life path is a number seven, so I know she is all tapped in. Don't forget, Kendall, if you want to align your consciousness with Kendall Cobb, hypnosis with Kendall... Give her a call at 800-503-1993. That's 800-503-1993. Hit her up, hit her up, hit her up. Very good at what she do. And don't forget, if you want any editing services, contact our dear, dear Susie Scripps. She could hook you up for whatever book, whatever ebook you want to write. Make sure you get it looked at. You always be, It's always good to have more than one eyes when you're writing a book or doing a journal or doing a blog. Susie Scripps, 914-361-94. 67. That's 914 361 9467. If you want health insurance, make sure you hit up my sensei, the sensei one, the only Shirley STC at gmail.com. Sensei Shirley STC at gmail.com. Hit up her, her email and she will hook you up. She'll do some consultation about health health care and all that kind of stuff. If you want some uh, your new property, you want to buy a new house, you want to get some land, this sister can hook you up. Camille Orta, Camille Orta at 718-916-9129, 718-916-9129. And don't forget Lloyd Strayhorn if you want to take his classes, do a numerovation session with him or get his books or take and go to his website, lloyd-strayhorn.com. That's lloyd-strayhorn.com. And don't forget, if you want to take my numerovational course, introductory course, all you have to do is go to udemy.com. That's udemy.com. And guess what? 
just put in the put in the, the search numerovation and you'll go straight to my course. I'm the only course that's called numerovation on there. Everything is numerology and astrology and all that. I'm the only one that's numerovation, baby. I have to stay out of the pack. I'm out of the pack. I'm doing it myself. If you want the full course, this is the eight hour course, raw and uncut. All you have to do is text the word course to 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. And don't forget, if you want to get any of my books, purchase on Amazon or go to Linktree forward slash King Simon, the numerovator, Linktree forward slash King Simon, the numerovator. If you do want to do a full numerovation session with me for 30 minutes or more, that's uh, 347-496-1022. I do not do any hour sessions at this time, only 30 minutes. I might go over a little bit, but only 30 minutes, depending on the question. And I go over a little bit, 30 minutes. That's 347-496-1022. And if you want the spring season special, 10 minutes and 10 seconds pre-recorded session, you can get to ask any three questions you want. All you have to do is text your first name and date of birth. And of first, you have to pay, of course, five, 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 five. That's fifty-five, fifty-five. Pay via Cash App or PayPal, and I'll hook you up. And it's going all the way till June twenty-first. This is going all the special is going all the way to June twenty-first. You don't get to talk to me. I'm gonna let you know that now. You don't get to talk to me. I will pre-record the session for ten minutes and ten seconds. I'll break down what I need and any question you want to ask. I'll hook it up. Remember, numerology is not psychic. It's here to use the pattern cycles and sequences and guide you from whether it's past, present, or future. We're here to help you and guide you and take you to the next level like a GPS. We're here to guide you, baby. That's what we do. All right. Content disclaimer, views, comments, and opinions expressed by guest speakers or authors on this YouTube channel do not necessarily reflect or represent the views, comments, and opinions expressed by broadcasters and its sponsors. Again, the views and opinions held by this channel's broadcasters and its sponsors. Parental guidance is advised. And disclaimer, copyright disclaimer, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing so let's get ready to get on out of here family let's get ready to say our prayers this is by dr delbert blair so everybody settle in relax take a chill pill and be still let's go with the prayers please universal creator know in our hearts that i love you Please protect me and this planet on which I live now. Please open my mind and my spirit and my soul to receive only truth now. I want to say it one more time for everybody to get out of here and get out of here in a vibratory, interdependent energy. Please, universal creator, know in our hearts that we love you. Please protect us and this planet on which we live now. Please open our minds our spirits, and our souls to receive only truth and your love now. Enough respect to Dr. Delbert Blair. If you want to order any of Dr. Delbert Blair's products still going on on his website, this is his website, family. If you want to order Dr. Blair's website uh, products on his website, he got his books. Make sure you show him some love. Hit him up. Hit up Tony. Tony is the one that runs the website right now. The metacenter2.com. That's the metacenter2.com. And uh, spread love to Dr. Dr. Blair. Keep the legacy going. They got the magnets. They got the diodes. They got the Faraday tech protectors. All of that. So in the words of Marcus Mosiah Garvey family, up, you mighty nation. You could accomplish what you will. And in the words of Mar uh, the, the, the late, great Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad, regardless of land, label, or language, there is but one creative force, one God. Take care of yourself, family. I'll see you next time. I'll see you on Wednesday. And I might go live on IG real quick. Might do that. But I know I got to get some rest so I can get up for this early morning uh, training with uh, Brother Rich and, um, and uh, Red Pill and Blue Pill. So we're going to do what we got to do. So we out here. So we out here in Georgia. So if you want to train with us, you might have to come on the mountaintop and train. All right. Have a great day, afternoon or evening. Stay focused. Stay out of people's business unless you're protecting your own family business. All right. Have a great day, afternoon or evening. Peace. Take care. Later.
Hey, this is King Simon. Remember, make sure you go to my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. Or link tree at King Simon, the numero base. To get all four of my books. And of course, that's the numero base for mental stability. Numbers are simple, people are complicated. Numbers are simple, children's health is important. And no promotion is bad promotion. Just spell my name right. Make sure you get them now on all my links. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. Go now.